Hello, today we will implement an URL shortener service. There are few well-known products on the market, for example, Bitly. And we will make a simplified clone of it. URL shortener can be used where size of the message matters. For example in tweets or as a way how to make very long URL shorter. The solution will be based on Node.js and Express as web server framework. Also we will need a database where we will store the mapping between short URL and the actual URL. Let's start with project initialization. Also you might see that I have created two files, one for the server and another one for the HTML page. As I said before, our server will use Express as the framework. This time the server will run on port 80. Then define placeholders for our simple API. We will use MongoDB as persistent storage. Let's install the client for it. Also we will run local instance of MongoDB. I use Docker for it. We need to initialize the connection to database inside the code. Note that we are connecting to localhost on port 27017. For short URL we need to generate a short random string. We can reuse an existing module called random string. Let's install it and import it to the project. Now we can implement short URL generation operation. First generate random 7 symbol string and store it in MongoDB storage. Don't forget to instruct Express to parse incoming HTTP request body and consider it as plain text. Next step is to implement a redirect from short URL to real URL. Just look up record from database and issue redirect to the client. Last step is to use Express server to serve also static content. With that our server implementation is complete and we can't start the server. Now let's focus on HTML part, starting with a simple template. As usual we will have very minimalistic design. As we will need to do an HTTP call to the server, Let's include jQuery library as dependency. Now it's time for implementation of shortened function that will take user's input. Then it will send it to backend and finally will render short URL in the browser as hyperlink. Finally let's attach this function execution to a button click. I made a small trick and let's pretend that our server will run on a server that has hostname show.rt.
let's open it in a browser and try to enter some URL. As you see a short URL is generated. Let's open it in new browser. As you see we are redirected to the original URL. That's it for today.